If you've addicted 150 million people to an app that they really can't stop looking away from and they're used to scrolling through it, and all of a sudden the Chinese are like, I think you guys should see this now in your feed. And maybe this, and maybe this kind of messaging. That is, the, that is a weapon of mass destruction. That is the ultimate psychological warfare weapon against another country. Now on to another issue that's important to you. Um, with China, who, uh, whose ownership in, and access to ByteDance, which owns TikTok, you recently um, sent a letter with Tom, uh, Senator Tom Tillis to, with 17 other Republicans to ask that the Senate Rules Committee and the Committee on House Administration block fellow members from using TikTok. Um, yeah. There's been a little bit of bipartisan support for the TikTok issue. A lot of it, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, as it relates to national security, but why are some lawmakers still holding back? Yeah, and there's a handful, right? And, um, sheer ignorance in some cases. Uh, who was it? Because I, I did a news interview on this and they played the clip for me. I want to say it was Jamal Bowman. I believe that he was the one that held the rally. And, yeah, and he was like, and he said something along the lines. I, it was dumb. He was, it was, it was straight up ignorance about what TikTok is, what it's used for, what the dangers are. It, so, it, it's, it's, maybe it's deliberate ignorance. Oftentimes, that's the case in politics. People are deliberately ignorant. Why? Because they want to use the thing, right? It's shiny object for them. And he believes it's a way for him to talk to his voters. He's not wrong about that. Obviously, there's a lot of voters on it. But he should be a responsible adult. He should be a leader and help his constituents understand that, like, look, first of all, the Chinese can access all your data. Oh, you don't care? Fine, I get that you don't care. But you might care one day when, when things escalate with China, which is seemingly inevitable at this point, and they now have a Trojan horse into your mind because you're so addicted to TikTok because it's so much damn fun, because the cat videos are just so funny. And there's, look, there's a lot of really funny stuff on there, right? Like it, it, it seems harmless and maybe right now it could be. But if you've addicted 150 million people to an app that they really can't stop looking away from and they're used to scrolling through it, and all of a sudden the Chinese are like, I think you guys should see this now in your feed. And maybe this, and maybe this kind of messaging. That is the, that is a weapon of mass destruction. That is the ultimate psychological warfare weapon against another country. I would love to have that against China. And they literally already have it against us. And all we have to do is say, ah, TikTok can't operate on our Wi-Fi. That's literally all we have to do. Um, all we're asking in that letter, I mean, geez, what we were asking in that letter was like baby steps upon baby steps. It's like, hey, don't let official government leaders use it. Um, we obviously need to go a lot further than that. I mean, you've seen it get banned in certain campuses, like, and, and that's the way to do it. You got to remove it from Wi-Fi, and you got to have cellular networks uh, disallow it from from the app. That's the only way to stop it. It's a very easy way to stop it. So, as we look at you know ways to tackle it, that that'll be in the future. A lot of debate necessary for that. You want to you want to make sure we're doing this the right way. But for now, asking your own leaders to stop using it and stop um, encouraging your constituents to give their data to China, that, that's probably a pretty good start. Yeah, um, the state of Montana, their legislature is taking steps yeah. to fully ban the app. Is that something you would be supportive of, not just in government devices and networks? Yeah, yeah, I'm at that point, mm -hmm. right? So, and, it, and it's not hard to do. Like I said, you, you, you've got to do it through cellular networks and Wi-Fi.